you too. I am back. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know it's been a minute. Like, it's been a minute. I know. Not too much, though. Not too much, okay? But welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button that bell notification so you're notified every time i drop a new video okay so yes girl we're back we're back mm. back better than ever we're back better than ever i am coming with you with a life update um uh, on my instagram if you're not already following my instagram make sure you hit that follow at um, Sabrina X Brie with three eyes. So, um, I'm going to answer some questions. A lot of people asking some questions. So I'm going to do some life update questions and yeah, we're going to get into this video. Period. So first question is how's mommyhood? Mommyhood is lit. Mommyhood is, is going, it's going at a fast pace y'all, but I wouldn't change shit. Okay? I wouldn't change nothing. Stop it. I wouldn't change nothing. I love being a mom. I love doing the mommy shit. Like, for real, for real. Like, my baby is... I love her. It's good. It's stressful. A good stressful. Because, you know, it's always something to do. <laughs> something that comes up. My kid, if y'all don't know, she attends a daycare. So... Those mamas that's out there, y'all know these daycares, they be playing with us a little bit, for sure. But we making it do what it do, but she be sick a little bit, quite often. Um, more than I like, but we, we, we doing what we got to do, boo. So, yes. Next question. I'm looking over here because I got my, what's the name over here? My other phone. Um, mm -mm. <laughs> not answering that. Um... Let's see. How's post grad? Post grad is literally amazing. Um, it really is. It's lit too. That's lit. Like right now, in my life is everything is giving. Everything is giving in my life right now. Um, but I can't complain. Post grad is cool. I was was freaking out. I was in the middle of a, like a career crisis where I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with my degree. Um, I am still doing my internship though. So I have my last little hours that I have to do for them to mail out my fucking degree. But I am still technically done. Well, not technically done, but damn near. So that's good. And I did get my major in counseling, adolescence, and addiction counseling. So, yeah. So, postgraduate is cool. I'm still in my career. If you guys don't know, I do work as a child welfare case manager so i do still do that i've been doing that since 2020 and i love it but i want to get back into the like clinical side of things like my internship was for undergrad um so yeah it's it's cool it's going <laughs> um where do you see yourself in five years um hmm i'm 25 right now so i will be 30 yeah. Um, you know, she. Um, honestly, truthfully, I see myself having my own home. Um, with me and my baby. Um, possibly another baby. That is another question too. Um, but no, I just see myself well established in my career and have my own um house my dream house and great financially like wealthy um or whatever that looks like for me you know not like the extravaganza shit but like well off and very stable and content um and that part of my life um that's about it and i know butterfly organics i'm speaking into her existence it's gonna be a banger 
my brand is going to take off. It's going to be taking off. It's going to be booming with orders. Um, yeah, Serenity would be five. So it would be great. That's where I see myself in five years. Well established, just settled within myself. Um, my dream home and just lit financially, like just secure. Secure in every aspect of my life. Um, that's where I see myself in five years. Do I want more kids? Oh, baby, fuck no. <laughs> oh, baby, fuck no. And I won't say no as in a bad thing, but no as in like, my baby is a good baby. And I know the number two probably going to be the complete opposite. But if you know me, my charisma, my demeanor is very chill laid back fun lit have a good time i'm chilling and my kid is the same exact way so far like she's just chilling so you know i don't know but as of right now the answer is no do you have a new boo no <laughs> i don't have a new boo um I am open to dating, kind of tried to date a little bit, um, just like sporadically like dating, going on dates, but um, no, I don't have an exclusive new boo. Um, I'm lit right now. I'm chilling. I'm secure um, within myself. Um, I have my relationship with God is I'm, I'm waiting on him to send me the right person for me, so I'm not, I'm not, I do not, I'm not in a relationship. I do not have a new boo. I am not back with my baby daddy. I'm single. I'm single. Your girl is flourishing. You know, I'm living life. Whatever the fuck that look like for me. Stay out my business. <laughs> Question. How's co-parenting? Co-parenting is going shit, to say the least. But let me not, let me not. No, co-parenting for real. Co-parenting is going good. Me and my child's father have a very great understanding. We are finally, finally in a good place where it's healthy, it's no drama. We good. That's my dog. Like, I don't know. Like, we good. We good. We good. For real, for real. It's good. It does get challenging sometimes, but it's okay. We still figuring out. We young and we figure we are we are figuring it out. But it's good. I have no complaints about co-parenting. So, it's good. It's stable. It's consistent. It's whatever. Rolling with the punches. <laughs> Shit. You know, these niggas change like night and day. But I am rolling with the punches. So far, no complaints. I have no complaints. I love co-parenting, actually. It's actually it's bringing out some good shit, you know. Which is, which is all that matters. I always wanted a healthy relationship with my child's father so we can provide the best relationship for her. You know what I'm saying? Because she deserves it. She don't deserve chaos. Mm -mm. And sometimes I've seen a lot of that, like, where motherfuckers be looking down on motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> that's a single mom. Like, I'm single. I'm young. I'm turned. I'm doing all the things I need to do. I'm securing my career. I'm still furthering my education. I'm doing exactly what I needed to do. I'm very stable. Stable. I have a great support system. Shout out to my team for real because they built me up and they helped me and they, you know, step in when I need them to. My sister, my mom, his dad. Like it's it's lit over here. Like it's it's fine. Like people think like, oh, you a single mom? You stressing or y'all beefing or the? No, we have two great people who unfortunately just didn't work and that's okay i'm, I'm gonna show y'all for real like that shit is okay like don't believe it don't gotta be all fuck my baby mama fuck my baby daddy like all the drama shit like don't get me wrong when we ended it was rough but overall we good and that's all that matters right now like we we good we had a good place and we gonna maintain it and we gonna do what the fuck we gotta do for that little one Back up in there. <laughs> um, next question. Um, how tall are you? Yeah, I'm pretty tall. I am five seven. I am five seven. I'm a little stallion. I'm a little stallion for 
for sure. Um, what is your dream date? Um, um, my dream date. So I would say for me, my dream date would be like a day that I'm about to do shit. <laughs> like, my mother's like, would well, just text me and say like, hey, Brie, get ready. Um, I got the whole day planned for us. Um, be ready by this time. And I go, and it's food involved, and something with the nature involved, and flowers. Like, yeah. Like, if it's something like that, like, hey, get ready. Or not in my case, because I do have my baby um, majority of the time. So, if it's like a, hey, find a babysitter on this day, or find a babysitter tonight. If you can, I got something planned for us. What? That would be music to my ears. Like, ugh, let go. Let's go do it. So, something like that. Like, a man that takes initiative. I love that. Like, lead the way, babe. <laughs> lead the way. You know? So, that's like a dream day. Anything with food involved. It's the flowers. And that's cool. We good. I'm going to do one more question. Any advice for moms? that let me see any advice for moms that has recently lost their baby and experiencing like sadness with having a baby and seeing other people have a baby um so i'm assuming because i know who this person is but um my advice would be to allow yourself to go through that pain um don't feel forced to get over it i don't know how long ago your miscarriage was but allow yourself to go through it don't let nobody force you into thinking that you gotta get over it or it was a blessing in disguise which possibly may be true and i know it could be hard seeing other moms post their pregnancy announcements post their child you know mother's day mother's day just passed so i know that was probably difficult for you but um my advice would be is to pray 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 and understand that just because you know you lost your baby your baby is looking down on you god is not leaving your side and trust me your rainbow baby is coming like, I remember myself when I experienced my miscarriage. Um, I was sad. I was sad as hell. I don't want to, I did not want to be around. A lot of my, like, my best friends have kids. During that period, my sister has her son. I don't want to be around nobody with kids because I was triggered. You know, I was like, I never questioned God, ever. I still never will. But I was just confused as to, like, dang, like, Am I going to have my moment? You know what I'm saying? Like that moment was like, take it from me. You know what I'm saying? So allow yourself to go through that process because it can be long. For me, it was almost a year. You know, my miscarriage was back in 20, 2019. Um, and I got pregnant in 2022. So it was a while. Like you go through the stages of anger confusion um envy almost um guilt and then seeking and desiring to want to have a kid like really bad so it can be difficult and just just take it day by day and remember this statement that there's always going to be light at the end of every tunnel. And God isn't done with you. You know, your story isn't over yet. And your baby will come. Period. And it may come in a weird, unique way. It may come in an unexpected way, an unplanned way. You never know. But don't lose faith. And sometimes turn off that phone. Like, I was constantly triggered because when I had my miscarriage, it was around Mother's Day. And 
I was I was triggered, you know what I'm saying? I was hurting and I didn't want to see it, you know? Oh, Rini. That would be my advice. Hang in there. You can DM me, text me anytime. If there's any mother out there, because you're still a mom. If there's any mothers out there that has lost their baby during labor or, you know, stillbirth, miscarriage, anything, please DM me. I will be a listening ear. I will share my playlist, my gospel playlist. I will share my journal with you on what I did when I was experiencing my miscarriage. And remember that I love you. Thank you so, so very much, y'all, for tuning in. And we back better than ever, baby. Don't count me out. I'm just getting started. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. That wraps up the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Yeah, because we lit. We turn it up. The summer just starting, baby. We lit. So I have some things coming up too. So make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Bye. Thanks for watching.